Hey guys, it's Michael from CultureShockCollectibles.com. We're back with another unboxing. We're taking a closer look today at, of course, the GameStop exclusive Red Ranger with Dragon Shield. This is the latest release by Bandai uh, and probably the last when it comes to figures before they hand over uh, to Hasbro. Uh, as far as I know, probably going to be the last, but I may be wrong. Um, so these figures were released in the US uh, probably about a month or so ago now, maybe a little bit longer, and they were exclusive to GameStop stores across the US. Uh, we have managed to get in uh, some. This is actually the second wave of figures that we're, we're getting in. Um, the first lot sold out within minutes, uh, but we do have a few more that we've just gotten in. Um, unfortunately, the Australian dollar does suck um, at the moment and um, postage costs and stuff like that do make them a little bit expensive to get in, um, hence the price of them when we're selling them. Um, but this really is a must, I think, for any Ranger fan and um, well worth adding to your collection. Um, as you can see, um, they got the gold right. I guess that's probably the, the biggest thing to notice um, when looking at this figure, but we'll get into that a little bit later on. First things first, let's take a look at the box. Let's take a look at what comes in the box. Um, we'll check out the box art here before we get into the actual figure itself. Um, this is, of course, um, packaging wise is uh, the new style packaging that Bandai has done for quite a few of the latest figures. Um, it is a change from, of course, the old packaging uh, that they had. Um, I do dig it. Um, I think the hanger section is extremely large and useless, but overall the packaging still is cool. Definitely not as cool as the original packaging that they used for um, the Wave 1 figures, but still cool. Nonetheless, um, of course, you've got the figure in there. You've got some accessories, Dragon Dagger, Power Sword, and, of course, Blade Blaster as well. Um, also comes with a pouch for both the Blaster and Dragon Dagger. Uh, we'll take a closer look at them very soon. Um, on the back, pretty cool posed uh, image of the actual figure. Also some other releases, the blue and red Psycho Rangers are there as well. So not much sort of different from the actual packaging of the um, Psycho Rangers as well. But uh, really cool box art on the back. Um, much better than the front, that's for sure. But uh, really cool and uh, I think we'll have a closer look at the actual figure itself. So the actual figure is around six inches tall, uh, just like the rest of the Ranger uh, line that was released by Bandai over the last couple of years. Um, as you can see, it does come with the iconic Red Ranger Power Sword. Uh, the detail on it is pretty good. And the painting is also pretty good. Comes with the Dragon Dagger to go with the Dragon Shield. Morpher has a bit more detail than, uh, than usual. Comes with, of course, the pouch for the Dragon Dagger. Blade Blaster in its folded up form that sits straight in the pouch. Of course, it's got the armbands. When we saw the first images of this photo, the armbands were not painted gold and we thought the Bandai was just gonna be lazy and release a figure without the, the actual you know, iconic gold armbands, which would have left uh, Ranger fans and collectors uh, and their gold markers uh, to filling them in, but they have actually painted them. Um, the actual paint detail on them, eh, it's, uh, it's not the best in areas, but uh, at least they actually went to the effort to put some gold paint on it. Um, the power sh uh, Red Ranger Power Shield, um, or the Dragon Shield, sorry, should I say, uh, is a pretty wicked. Uh, the paint job is not too bad. There is a few sort of marks and stuff like that on it, as you can see, but each figure will vary, I'm sure. Um, 
you can see they've gone to some to some good detail um, and we'll touch on the actual gold color as well um, very soon one thing I found really interesting about the helmet itself is there is some detail probably missing off this um, as you can see along the front of the helmet it is missing the line of course that goes along the front of the visor which I thought was a little bit strange I thought it might just be me um, so I checked out some reference pictures and stuff like that and it is definitely missing it um, to give you guys an example take a look at the metallic version of the Red Ranger uh, that has the paint all the way around the front of the visor so if we look at them together if we can you can really see it is unfinished there compared to the other figures um, to give you another example of course we can have a look at the wave one figure this had pretty much white paint all over it it's a bit pox there I've used the actual gray here and the, the teeth on the t-rex are much better as well um, but still once again it is missing uh, that white paint Another example for you guys, of course, is the smaller version uh, that was released a few years ago. Um, it also has the finished visor, as you can see there, full painted. Definitely not the detail in the teeth, but the front is definitely painted. So you can see that again in the two figures. Not sure why that's not painted but it ain't um that's probably i guess my only sort of complaint about this figure really just that it looks a little bit incomplete there um but in saying that um it's not a big thing um we spoke earlier about the actual dragon shield and the color the reason i mentioned that is because of this guy the zeo gold ranger and his cheesy colored shield as you can see bit of a difference um i think they really got it right we'll have a look at another figure here next to it as well just to get a an idea of the color of the shield as you can see i think bando really got it right with this one even lord draken's gold shield i know it's a probably a, a totally different sort of figure but just to show you the actual comparison here of the figures and the actual shield colors you can see they really dropped the ball on the zeo figure um they did all right on the staff sort of uh, but then really dropped the ball on that um i think the color is definitely closer to the smaller version that was released years ago um and they really got it right. So color wise on the shield, well done Bandai for getting that right um, compared to old mate Zeo here. Um, but yeah, overall this figure is wicked. Um, and like I said before, it is definitely a must for any Ranger fan uh, or collector out there. Um, do yourself a favor and pick one up on cultureshockcollectibles.com. You will not be disappointed. Um, articulation wise on the figure exactly the same as the other sort of Bandai releases great articulation you can really put this uh, figure into some awesome poses um, I've just gone sort of something basic uh, for now but uh, this guy moves around like crazy so uh, well worth uh, getting and adding the Red Ranger with power shield to your collection um, it's a hard to come by figure here in Australia so do yourself a favor and pick one up um, if you've got any questions or anything uh, to do with this figure or any of our Power Rangers range, uh, feel free to drop us a line on Instagram uh, or Facebook or on our YouTube channel. Uh, we're always here to help. And be sure to check out cultureshotcollectibles.com. And we hope you've enjoyed this unboxing.